Alright guys, welcome to your 39th video and in this video what I want to do is now that you understand the nitty gritty details of the Krebs cycle, I want to go in the other direction and give you guys a very broad, simple summary of the entire Krebs cycle, how each step is pieced together. And hopefully what this will do is it will clear up any confusion that you have on the little pieces and it will also help you visualize exactly what's going on. So remember that by the end of the Krebs cycle we ended up with two ATPs. 8 NADHs and also 2 FADH2s. Now if you guys are like alright I just watched all those videos and I'm getting different values than you well remember that I demonstrated one molecule how it went through the Krebs cycle but remember glucose splits up in glycolysis to two molecules so times everything by two and you guys should get the same numbers as me. So remember, we started with pyruvate, which was a three carbon molecule. And on the way to the mitochondria, it actually formed an NADH. So let me go ahead and write all of these in purple. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and this will be my symbol for NADH. So on the way to the mitochondria, it formed an NADH. And also, the next thing is it lost the CO2 and it combined with coenzyme A, so COA. And whenever this happened, it was no longer called pyruvate, it was called acetyl-CoA. So this was the molecule that we said that was allowed to enter the Krebs cycle. So this is the beginning of the Krebs cycle, step number one. Now the very first thing that happened to acetyl-CoA is it combined with that four carbon molecule because remember this acetyl CoA is only a two carbon molecule and it combined with that four carbon molecule and it became I'll just go ahead and write citric acid so now at the end of step one we had citric acid so then in step number two might as well write each step a different color that will probably be a little bit easier to visualize. What happened is this was the easier step. The molecules just rearranged a little bit and we formed an isomer called isocitrate. So that was all step two was. Molecules changing around, moving around a little bit. Now after step number two, what happened is, I forgot my rule, new color. Step number three, it released CO2. So we lost a carbon and it actually formed, and I guess I'll make NADH with my little cloud around it. By the way, this isn't like the standard symbol for NADH. I just thought it would be cool. I don't know. This is actually what I thought would be cool. How boring is my life if drawing clouds around NADH is cool. But anyways, step number four, moving on. Don't need to talk about my emotional problems here. It actually releases another CO2 molecule and forms another NADH. Yes, I get to draw another NADH. NADH. Hopefully I'm not going off the screen here. I'll move up. So after that we move on to step number five. And in step number five, remember this is a step that it formed the GTP. GTP. And just remember right now that probably shouldn't draw another arrow. GTP is a molecule that can be used to make ATP. So that's where I'm getting my ATP from right here. And even though this is the only one, remember for all of these molecules, since this entire molecule pyruvate is actually two molecules, that's why I'm getting this number two ATPs and I'm going to be multiplying everything by two. So this is the only ATP that's formed in the Krebs cycle. However, since two molecules we get from uh, glucose, we get two ATPs in total. So now moving on to the sixth step, remember in the sixth step, or you know maybe you don't remember, is that two hydrogen atoms were donated and they pretty much stuck onto FAD and whenever they stuck on FAD you got FADH2. So step number six is where we got FADH2 so that is where we get these two FADH2 right there so now again remember two FADH molecules because this is one and we're multiplying it by two 
you guys, you guys could probably do that math. I don't know why I said that. But basically, the seventh step was another easy one. A water molecule was added forming malate. So I'll just put H2O was added, and now we have malate that form. And in step number eight, which was, of course, the last step, step number eight, NADH was formed. And crap, I forgot. Sorry. New color. NADH was formed. Could you draw my little cloud? And if you guys are counting my clouds, this was one, two, three, four. This was your fourth NADH. And of course, multiply that by two gives you your eight NADHs. And oh, what color was I writing in? White. And basically, this malate turns into. Oh, I'm going to have to write this freaking word. Malate turns into oxaloacetate, and basically this was the molecule right here that combined with acetyl-CoA to form citric acid. And then, again, it just repeats and repeats and repeats until you die, literally. I know that sounds kind of messed up, but that's what happens literally. So once the cycle is complete, this oxaloacetate combines with another acetyl-CoA, and it does the whole thing again, 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 again. I'm just going to keep saying that for like the next three minutes. Again, 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 again. So basically, now that you guys understand the nitty gritty details of the Krebs cycle, and you have this broad overview of how everything is pieced together, and again, remember in the first tutorial that I said that this right here was kind of the preparation stage, but this is actually the Krebs cycle steps one through eight so if you want to say that this was part of the uh, cycle you can if not you know you don't have to it's kind of the intermediate stage between glycosis and the Krebs cycle but anyways what what do you want to call it I don't know just follow your heart but I hope you guys understand the Krebs cycle if you have any questions just go ahead and ask me on my forum the link is below thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one